Hi, welcome to my channel, The Divine Storm 369. Thank you for joining me. And this reading is for Earth Signs. This is your April Terrascope. And we are going to start off with Taurus, okay? So let's go ahead and pull the overall energy for Taurus for the month of April. Okay, we got 23, which is the vegans. All right, it says solitude, independence, and peace. So the first message that I'm getting for you, Taurus, is that during the month of April, I think that you're really going to be paying attention to what you're eating, okay, and wanting to just eat more cleaner, maybe paying more attention to your diet, um, eating less like meat, less um, carbs, less sugar, and just being very conscious about what you are putting in your body, okay, um, and so this could be because you might be having some stomach issues or digestive issues. And I'm seeing that, you know, eating cleaner is really going to help to clear that up for you. But I'm also seeing that this is a month of solitude for you because I think that you're trying to find peace. You're trying to find solace. I think that um, specifically the past five months or around that area has been very hectic for you and it feels like a time where you finally can just slow down and find some peace and solitude within yourself okay I'm also feeling like you could be breaking away from something breaking free from something or moving away from kind of like a box that you've been put into so you're breaking free out of the box you're moving away from um, the energy that you've been in for quite some time and you are really just taking a moment to be alone and contemplate where you want to go from here okay So let's go ahead and get your other cards here for Taurus for the month of April. Let's see what comes out for Taurus. I'm also seeing the color yellow and the color orange. So I think you're really working on your solar plexus as well. And in that solitude, um, in that independence, like breaking away from groups, from other people, from group thinking, um, breaking away from all of these things and really just going within to find yourself, to find your peace, okay? And to um, really, I feel like it's healing for you. So I think that you're going to be coming out of this much more confident. I'm seeing that solar plexus, okay? All right, Taurus. I love this card. We have um, number nine. I know I'm going to pronounce these way wrong. We have Ecopius, the seer. We have the Amazon queen. And we have the little star, number 24. Okay, Taurus. So I'm, I'm seeing children here. I'm seeing a child here. I'm seeing a child here. So I really feel like you are working and you are focused on your inner child. And specifically, I think that you're focused on what feels right for your inner child. You're focused on feeding, nurturing your inner child. And I really think that you are paying a lot of attention to the energy, the information 
um, that you are taking in and how it affects and how it can nurture or, you know, do the opposite um, to your inner child, right? So you're paying attention to your environment. This includes other people, okay? So with the number nine here, we got visionary. I chart the stars, the signs, and the symbols to craft magic. All right. So, you know, spirit is also pointing to your astrological chart. All right. Wanting you to pull that up. So, uh, you know what I feel like? I feel, Taurus, for you, you have kind of been stuck in a, a certain transit or a certain energy for quite some period of time. And I'm a Taurus. I do pay attention to um, the transits going on. But this is not my reading, right? This is um, this is a general reading. So I'm doing this based off of the tarot only, but Spirit is saying to really go into your astrology chart. Check out the transits. It's going to give you hints and clues to what's going to be coming next. And I think that in your astrology chart, in some way, over the past three to five months, okay, you're... Or actually, I feel like it's actually the past five years, to be honest with you, Taurus, um, because we have the 23 here, um, which is a five, okay? And um, I just feel like it's five years here. You have been like in this struggle, in this battle with your inner child, okay? Trying to heal your inner child. And I feel like for a lot of you Taurians, your inner child is very innocent, but at the same time, rebellious, right? And so you've been working on this push and pull and this healing um, with your inner child. And I think that also over the past five years, for a lot of you Taurus, as you've been learning and um, trying to learn and take in information and use that information to heal, Okay, so this could be different ideologies, different ideas, different spiritual concepts and um, theologies. But what I'm seeing here is that right now you're kind of getting rid of all of that. You are going within and you are focused on just your spirit and what is bringing you peace. Okay. I also feel like for some of you, you could be getting into magic or crafting um, certain items, enchanting items, um, using so learning about signs, symbols, and sigils. Okay, so for those of you who are learning about that, I really see that here. But I'm also seeing that spirit is going to be giving you almost like some very, very prophetic information about you, about yourself, about your future during um, this month, the time of April, okay? So I'm also seeing for you, Taurus, it's like with the Amazon queen and with this card and, and all of these cards here, it feels like you have been engaged in some sense, some sort of spiritual battle. So, and I feel like a lot of that, honestly, Taurus, is coming from a battle within yourself, battling your own spirit, battling um, what you feel is right for you versus what everyone else feels or says is right for you or true, okay? And at the bottom of everything, at the bottom of every single theory, right? At the very bottom of it, it's just an idea. Um, so instead of living by someone else's ideas or theories, this is you going within and creating your own creating your own spiritual idea or theory and, you know, something you're very comfortable with and going by that. So one example of this could be creating an inner, um, inner church for yourself, right? Where you um, go to in meditation, right? To worship or even creating a sanctuary inside of your home, away from everyone else, uh, uh, secluded from everyone else and just somewhere that you have access to and using that space to heal, 
um, what you've been trying to heal for so, so very long. And I'm also picking up the ages 23 to 24. So I don't know if, um, and also the ages five and six. So I feel like those are some very particular ages where, where changes has happened or something has happened for you to where you're needing to go back to that time and to heal those things. And for some of you, you're using magic to heal yourself and to, um, I also see you like purifying yourself, purifying your body through like bath salts, spiritual bath even, but also purifying your body by what you're taking in and what you're eating as well. For, you know, another energy I'm picking up here is I feel that you're like coming into this place for some of you where you are standing up for a child. So this might not only be your inner child. I feel for some of you, you're actually standing up for a child or someone that seems a little bit defenseless and you're using your voice to to help them or to protect them in some way. But I'm seeing that you are really like really engaged in protecting this child. And that's for some of you. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull your tarot cards, see what other messages want to come out here. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Taurus for the month of April? All right, we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Four of Coins in reverse. We have the seven of swords in reverse. Okay, Taurus. So I feel for you, it's like, yeah, you've been engaged in, I feel like everything for you has felt like a battle, okay, over some period of time, okay, so your relationships, even your relationship with your family, um, you know, just anything that you were trying to accomplish, go for, has felt like you have had to really battle, okay, and so now I'm seeing, again, you're taking that step back, and it's like, I feel that you're putting down your weapon, you're putting down your shield and your swords with the seven of swords and the four coins in reverse, okay? And I think that, yes, there have been those who have backstabbed you, there have been those who betrayed you, lied about you, lied to you, started rumors about you, but you know what? With these cards coming out here, you're tired of battling against it. Okay, so instead of trying to make things work with certain people who seem very impossible, you are laying down your sword, okay, and you're laying down your shield, and you are going within, and you are disconnecting from these people in this situation, and you are finding peace, and you are finding solitude, you are finding your voice again, and you are finding confidence, because honestly, Taurus, I feel that a lot of these people around you um, have been affecting you in your confidence, in your solar plexus. I'm also feeling for some of you, there has been people around you who has been getting you involved in their drama, getting you involved in their fight, and it's been a constant fight for you, and it's like you've stopped and you've thought to yourself, what am I even fighting for? This is not even my fight. And so you've laid down your weapons and you've gone within. You're tired of fighting for other people. And I think that you're tired of uh, feeling like you have to battle to make something work with someone or 
you know, a group of people such as family members, right, when um, they don't necessarily have your best interest at heart or wouldn't do the same for you. So at the end of the day, this is, Taurus, you being completely done for standing up, using your voice, fighting for people that would never do the same for you. You're done with having people's backs who would never have your back. And you're watching out for your own back. Okay, but again, I'm picking up this child. There is a child who I feel like you are protecting this month. You are like using your voice to um, protect them in some way. Okay, but other, other than that, in other situations, I think you're done. You are done allowing the same people the opportunities to lie to you, to cheat, to cheat you, to steal from you, to lie about you or um, to you in any type of way. So it's like you're seeing through the illusion of the relationships that you have this month when you are disconnecting and when you are going within. You're laying down that. Um, battle, right? You're walking away from the battle and going within and you're finding that that battle wasn't yours to fight and you're finding that these relationships are really not worth the constant strain and fight, okay? So you're really seeing people's true colors. You're seeing them for who they really are, okay? That's what I'm getting here with this Ten of Cups, Okay, so Taurus, what shadow work is going might come up for you this month? All right, so again, Spirit is saying you are moving away from this narrow-minded energy, okay? Um, for so long, you've really had a limited outlook and perspective um, on different people, right? So it's like you've, and different things, different ideas. So it's like once you take that step back and you go within, you really, your mind starts to open up, right? And you start to see things, you start to see people as they really are, okay? So I think Taurus... What I'm seeing here is this month you're also going to be realizing you were really wrong about someone, okay? I think that, yeah, this is the energy of being like, oh my gosh, I was so wrong about them. Like, they really are not like this great, you know, friend or this great person like I thought they were, all right? I also got quick tempered. So Taurus, really watch your temper in the month of April because I feel like once you disconnect, once you pull back and really go within yourself, I do feel that other people are going to try to trigger you. They're going to try to make you angry. They're going to try to get you to engage with them, engage with their drama once again. All right. So Spirit is saying, think before you engage. Think before you speak. Put a little bit of space between your thoughts and the words that come out of your mouth. Okay. All right. Oh, we got another one here. So a message from your higher self, Taurus, is you will not expose yourself to negative stories or read awful news. It brings you down to a low vibration. So spirit is reminding you right now, you are trying to raise your vibration. You are trying to heal. So exposing yourself to negative people, um, negative things on the TV, okay, negative stories, okay, or awful news stories is really gonna bring yourself down. It could also trigger your anger um, with quick-tempered being above this or trap you in a narrow-minded box, okay? So Spirit's saying, watch for that, Taurus. That's something you really don't want for yourself because 
Um, I see so much clarity coming in for you. I see your mind really expanding and opening up. So don't allow anything to take a hold of that and like control it or impede on that. Okay. I'm also seeing your vibration really raising um, during this time with this going within. So again, spirit is reminding you don't let anything, you know, break that or don't let anything um, mess that up for you. So let's take a look at some of this inner child healing. Some things you can focus on for your healing. Let's take a look. Okay, so I feel like one thing that you are healing, Taurus, is feeling like you didn't have your own personal space. So this could either be like your own personal space mentally, feeling like you have to agree with others, feeling like you have to go along with the crowd, right? Um, and feeling like you had to share everything with others. Now, this could be um, energetically in your mind and your ideas, um, or this could be the way you dressed. This could be literal, okay, in your environment, not having like your own room, not having your own personal space, just having to share everything with someone else. So I feel that that really has affected your boundaries. And so you are creating that space for yourself right now. And Spirit saying now you are creating an area of Zen and harmony, just like I picked up in the beginning. Um, creating like that safe sanctuary space for yourself. Um, and this is also going to help you to open up your heart to the right people in your life, okay? You're also healing moments of feeling afraid and feeling frightened in the past, okay? Maybe you felt afraid to be who you really are or you felt afraid to share your own personal ideas. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that you now are emotionally stronger and you are emotionally braver than you was in the past, okay? And your heart is opening to really being yourself and, and creating your own space. So in whatever way that is, it's different for everyone. All right, so you are also finding out that you don't need anyone else. You don't need their approval. You don't need anyone else to meet any of your needs, okay? That your needs can be met by you and you alone. And so while you're going into this very solitude um, space and this very independent space, you are finding out that you like that. You like meeting your own needs, um, and this is also going to draw people to you that are also very independent, okay? Um, so any codependencies that you've been struggling with, I really feel that you are letting go of this month in April. So that's great. All right. All right, let's see if we have any more messages for Taurus for the month of April. We have fortune. So again, I feel like for you, Taurus, this is really a very fortunate time. Okay, so while it might feel a little bit lonely at first, Spirit wants to remind you that this is a fortunate time for you. And um, since your vibration is raising, then I think that you are going to have some good fortune coming your way. All right, so I had Melati in reverse. Um, if you've been feeling very low, low energetically, right? This is because your vibration was very low, engaging with certain people, certain things, ideas, right? And I see you moving out of that, Taurus. You are expanding your mind, moving out of this um, energy. And you are not exposing yourself to negative energy this month. And that's great. Yeah, moving away from enemies that really... I feel like you have people around you who are hidden enemies. And um, they really brought down your vibration. So again, 
releasing those um, relationships, that energy, bringing you more fortune and energy um, within yourself, okay? So let's get a message to you from Spirit here. Taurus, sit up straight, shoulders back. Now shine with confidence, all right? You have every reason to be confident, okay? And Taurus, listen to me. Stop slouching in your chair. I'm a Taurus, and I always, I know it, I know. Okay, I get it. I always slouch because I'm very tall, too. Um, so, yeah, I slouch. But listen, Taurus, let's not slouch anymore. From now on, we're going to sit up straight with our shoulders back, and we are going to allow our inner confidence and our inner beauty to shine outwards. And we are going to not let anyone impede on that. Okay. So that's your reading, Taurus. Thank you for being here with me. And um, I hope that it resonated with you. If you enjoyed the reading or if it resonated, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And leave me a comment down below to let me know how it resonated. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi, Virgo. Welcome to your April Terrascope. But let's go ahead and take a look at the messages Spirit has for you for the month of April. Okay. Okay, Virgo. So you got air element. Philosophy, discrimination, and empathy. Okay, so with the air element, this is obviously a very, very mental energy. So I feel like you have a lot of mental activity going on in the month of April. Okay, this breaks down to a seven. So I really feel like you're going to have to mentally persevere and push through something. So, um, you know... Again, it's mental. So I feel like there's a lot of learning for you. You're going through a learning period during this month. Okay, there's a lot of communication as well. You could also be dealing with some discrimination, somebody discriminating against you um, for whatever reason, which absolutely is not fair. But I am picking that up here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see um, what other messages we have or if we can get some more information about this. Yeah, I'm feeling you being very mentally drained and this could be over someone really discriminating against you, okay, in some way. So Virgo, I feel that you're engaged with something that is definitely a lot of stress on you. It feels like a mental drain. It feels like you don't have enough information to keep going, that you have been shut out of access to something um, because of a discriminatory reason, okay? So losing access, losing... Um, information or not being able to gain that access or gain that information um, because of a certain discrimination against a certain philosophy that you have um, or just against a characteristic of you, okay, um, which absolutely is not fair. So I'm feeling like it's like you're caught in the middle of this storm through no fault of your own, right? And um Spirit is saying you are going to emerge through the situation as a shiny, new, bright star here with Empress of the Night. So you are the Empress, okay? But we have Nighttime Empress here, which means that 
People can't see how beautiful, how wonderful, how talented you really are because it's nighttime. But you are growing through this and you are about to emerge and um, be seen and be known and be heard for who you really are. Okay. We also got the Amber Star. I surrender and allow myself to grieve. Let go. So yeah, I just feel Virgo. First of all, I really want to say I've really barely ever had a reading like this where there's just like flat out discrimination coming out here. Um, it could be discrimination against your skin color. I'm seeing a difference between skin colors here. It could be um, discrimination against certain ideas that you have or your philosophy, the way that you think, the way that you speak could also be um, here. Okay, I'm seeing it could be different for everyone. But yeah, this is absolutely discriminatory energy. And I think that this is like a dream that you've had. This is something you've always wanted to go after. And I think it's something you are so pumped about, so excited about. And um, only to be shut down, discriminated against, just lose um, access over that. And so I'm feeling like this storm of emotions inside of you. But spirit is saying, I know, I know that hurts and it's unfair and it's unjust and it's horrible. And it, it, it's kind of, it's a little evil, right? But sometimes we have to let go of certain things that we want and we're going after because something better is coming into our life. Something better. Because honestly, if you were to get whatever this is, you would have to be working with a lot of um, rude, discriminatory uh, people that you probably would not want to be around or, um, you know, for whatever reason, whether this, this is with working with them on education, whether this is a career, whether this is a sort of group, I don't know what it is. It's probably different for everyone, but, um, yeah, you would have to be around, you know, people who would not respect you through no fault of your own. Okay. And so they do not deserve to have you in their presence at all. So Spirit is saying, I understand it hurts. I understand that you don't deserve this. I understand that you're going through a storm of emotions. But sometimes we have to let certain things go. And whatever this is, it doesn't mean you have to stop following it. Following it. But with this group, with these people, whoever they are, okay, um, that's what you're really letting go of. So surrender and allow yourself to grieve because after this storm, you are going to emerge um, on a new path, a new beginning, and you are going to um, be more powerful, more confident than you were before. And I'm just seeing Virgo, for you, you're going to be shining so bright at the end of this. And the people who rejected you are going to see you, are going to hear you, and they're going to kick themselves for being so ignorant, okay? So let's get some more cards here. All right, we have visitor. I feel like this person, there's someone like around you, Virgo. This could be like a love interest who literally might like come into your home and judge you, judge your home, judge your surroundings. Um, very, very rude. Very not okay. I'm also seeing um, that you might have, actually, there's someone who might be very, very attracted to you. Okay, who really is desiring to communicate with you. Um, this is someone who I feel like they see you around your home. Okay, is what I'm getting here as well. So they might live in your community. But I feel like they have not spoken to you yet. So they could be very shy to speak to you. Okay. 
Let's get some more cards here. We got the Hierophant in reverse. Taurus energy. All right, so this person could be a Taurus. Okay, Tauruses, um, some of them are known for being very, um, what is the word? I, I don't even know, closed-minded. Uh, let's get another card here. I say that as a Taurus. I'm not a closed-minded Taurus, but, you know, some of them are, especially, like, masculine Tauruses. Let's get another card here. We got Equestrian of Air in reverse. Yeah, just this mental energy. You know what? I think that you looked up to someone who's very rude, who's very nasty, who, um, I, I, this is like a false teacher type of energy, who um, you realize they were discriminating against you. They were not fair. They were not just. Um, yeah, five of swords. Ouch. Yeah, they did not treat you the same as others. Um, yeah, this is very hurtful energy and they may have treated you like, um, you weren't smart or you didn't deserve, um, whatever it is you were going after. And this person is wrong. Spirit's saying they are wrong. That's why the Hierophant's in reverse. This person has a huge ego. Um, it's It could be a teacher or someone who advises others, a leader of some sort of group. They were absolutely wrong. Okay. Let's get some more clarif Let's get some more cards here on this situation. And I think you're questioning, you like started questioning your own intelligence, like your own capability, okay, um, because of this person and what they said to you, what they did to you. I Spirit is saying this person is a false teacher. This person is like a grifter and they just want to like take people's money. That's what Spirit is saying. And honestly, like Spirit is kind of saving you from them. Okay, we got loss. So I'm seeing a loss of money. You might have actually lost money to this person. Okay, because um, because they were promising some sort of information or some sort of position that you did not get. Yeah, so this person is a cheat. We got journey in reverse. So you feel like the journey that you had set out on has come to a halt has come to a stop and you're out some money okay this person um it's like they they had taken it from you basically stolen it okay because they're a grifter all right but spirit is saying sometimes it's best to just cut our losses grieve and move on right because um what's coming up next for you is better all right, so if you want to maybe try to get your money back, that, that's an idea, okay? But to try to go after whatever this is, you don't really want it, all right? <laughs> and I think that you're quickly finding out that it's not really something you really do want. So let's take a look at your shadow work that you could be facing in the month of April, resisting change so i feel like you don't want to let go of whatever this is okay you're resisting this change and spirit is saying ask yourself why you are not wanting to change look at the positive side of the situation instead of just seeing the negative okay so yeah Let's go ahead and get another card. So what this person was offering was not true anyways. Okay. We got my heart and lungs is made of water. I'll drink more water to replenish what my body needs. All right. So Virgo, I feel that first of all, you need to drink more water. You could be feeling very dehydrated right now. Um, and also, you know, maybe getting some vitamins. I feel like you're lacking some 
uh, very important vitamins, minerals, or nutrients that you should be getting. So maybe look into that and check that out. All right, Virgo, it's time to make a decision, okay? It's time to use your voice to value your desires. You have every right to make a decision too, all right? You have every right to feel valued, okay? And um, know that you are valuable and what you want is valuable, but you would not find what you want here and with this specific person or group or whatever it is, okay? All right, so what are you healing this month? What is healing? You are healing, um, feeling betrayed by friends, people that you thought was friends, people that have walked out of your life without reason. Um, this is wounds of feeling rejected, feeling discriminated against, feeling, you know, um, misunderstood. So... Throughout your life, I think that, um, and right now, you're trying to understand that people have their own journey, and you try not to internalize that pain when it's happened, um, when people have walked out of your life, but I feel like you are going to have some friends walk out of your life this month without a reason, okay, and Spirit's saying it has nothing to do with you, um, it has to do with their journey, so don't internalize their pain, all right? with journey in reverse here as well. And also spirit is asking you not to internalize the pain of whatever this is. Okay, it's their um, pain, it's their narrow-mindedness, not yours. So you're feeling very emotional, okay, and that's understandable. So Spirit is asking you to just feel your emotions. Don't try to hold them back. Just feel them. Spirit is saying, I know that you're sad. I know that you're crying. But being sad and crying is actually bringing you closer to the healing that you need. Okay? So if you need to feel sad, if you need to cry, then allow yourself to cry. It's okay. Because the sooner you allow that, the sooner... You will be at a healing place. Okay. So Spirit is also asking you not to be so demanding on yourself and or, and or anyone else, right? So um, you may have in a way been trying to control others around you forgetting about their personal feelings, their own journey, their own space, okay? And um, you could be being very demanding on yourself, forgetting about your personal feelings, your personal emotions about things like this situation, trying to demand that you change certain things to fit in. And Spirit saying you're, you're demanding and trying to control um, too much of yourself instead of just allowing yourself to um, feel how you feel and to be who you are, right? All right, so let's go ahead and get a one last message here from Spirit. All right, Virgo, so remember, even if anyone else can't see it, that aura, that energy of yours is shining so bright, like a beautiful, bright star, okay? So don't let anyone take that away from you, all right? And um, that is your reading. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the reading, if it resonated, leave me a comment down below, like the video. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi, Capricorn. Welcome to your April Terrascope. So we're going to start off by pulling the overall energy for the month of April for you, Capricorn. And this is solely based on the cards here. So let's go ahead and see what we got. All right. You got Vesica Pisces. Okay. Wow. Beautiful energy. It's a number 39. 
um, which is a number 12, which is actually a very spiritual energy. Okay, so you actually are going through very, very spiritual energy here, Capricorn. And I feel like you are connecting with past lives and even somehow connecting with future lives, connecting with your future self. Um, this is divine feminine energy. And this is birthing fertility for yourself. So um, the energy around you is extremely fertile. So for those of you who... Um, are trying to get pregnant, this is actually a really good time. And for those of you who are not, you know, keep that in mind. But I think that with this card here, everything, all of your thoughts, all of your energy, your emotions are just so fertile. It is fertile ground for growth right now. So whatever you are wanting to go after, I feel like has so much potential right now. All right. So this is starting new projects, um, new careers, new everything for you, Capricorn, and just feeling so inspired. And I feel like for you, it's like, it's like the stars are aligning for whatever you want, okay? That's what I really get here, that the stars are aligning and, and everything, the energy is just perfect for you to be able to manifest or birth or bring forth whatever it is you're wanting to bring forth. And your psychic energy is on point. I also feel like, yeah, you're getting messages somehow from your future self. You're getting messages from yourself in past lives, okay? This is also very dreamy energy. Pay attention to your dreams. So these messages could be coming through in your dreams because of that 12th house energy. All right, so let's see what other messages we have here for Capricorn. Okay, we got the Amazon Queen. We got the Star Daughters in reverse. And we got the Aquamarine Star. All right, so the Amazon Queen battle. I am a devoted warrior of the universe. And it is a number six. So I feel, Capricorn, you have been battling and fighting to bring something forth, to birth something, to give something some life. So this could be a creation of yours, an idea of yours, something of yours that you have really been um, battling within yourself to bring to the forefront, to bring and push out into the open, right? You are giving birth to something and you've been um, like fighting to bring this birth about okay um with the star daughters here it is a number 32 which is a five this has not been easy for you okay but i feel like it's something that you want so much all right we have i feel like you have forgotten to take some time and just have some fun so you are so focused on um this project this um whatever this is, right? It's going to be different for all of you. But you forget to like dance, to sing, to play, to have some fun, to take a moment. It's like every moment of your life and your mind is devoted to battling for this project and to get it to where you want it to go. So um, Spirit is reminding you to take some time here to relax a little bit, Capricorn. Not every waking moment has to be like a push and a battle forward. We also have the Aquamarine Star, which is a number 11, and it's about expression. I express my intuition with self-confidence and love. So you are feeling very, very confident is what I'm getting here as well. Okay, but I think that you are so, so focused, Capricorn, that you might be forgetting to express yourself with love and empathy sometimes. You might be forgetting to hear other people out and what they have to say. All right, so Spirit is saying wearing an aquamarine crystal is going to help you to listen to others, to be able to express yourself from your heart, and to remember to express yourself from your heart. 
Okay. So anyways, you know, I think spirit really at the end of the day just wants you to take a moment to breathe and have a little bit of fun because let's be honest capricorn you've been forgetting to do that you've been so focused but you deserve to have fun okay so let's go ahead and see what tarot messages spirit has for you all right, so yeah, we have um, temperance coming out here, okay? Um, you've been working very hard. You've been fighting. You've been battling um, for whatever this is. This is all work, no play. And Spirit is saying, you know, now it's time for temperance. Now it's time for moderation. Now it's time for a little bit of peace. You have to find balance, Capricorn. Everything can't be a battle. Everything can't be a fight. I feel like you're in like this Aries energy, just wanting to force your way to the front. And Spirit's saying, yeah, that's great. But you know what? Um, there's a time and a place and you're forgetting to um, show yourself some love here. Okay, so with temperance, you've got to find some balance between work and play or else you're going to burn yourself out very easily. All right. So let's see what other tarot messages we have. Okay, we have judgment. All right. So yeah, with judgment underneath the star daughters in reverse, this is just, you know, you're not allowing yourself um, the time to enjoy yourself. And in a way, I feel like this is, you're not using your judgment to the best of your ability. Um, so it's time to take a moment, okay, and to just revisit something that really brings you a lot of joy and happiness, okay? I also feel like for those of you who have daughters, who have a children, this is just taking a moment and spending some time with your children and communicating your love to them, right? Um, or taking a day um, just to spend playing with your children at the park or whatever it is. Okay, so Spirit is saying, you know, you've got to start using your judgment better in regards to yourself, in regards to um, allowing yourself to enjoy yourself and allowing yourself to find peace and allowing yourself to find balance as well, okay? I also feel like I've got to say the message for those of you who have a daughter, um, they may need some special attention this month, okay? So let's get another card here. Or at least a very important um, conversation that they want to bring something up to you, but they might see that you are too busy to, um, to have that conversation, right? So um, just remembering to listen to others again to take some time to find some balance we got the chariot in reverse so sometimes victory doesn't always feel like a victory if um if it was like a train wreck getting there it, you know it's like please take a moment to relax i feel like there might even be an injury here if you push yourself continue to push yourself so hard Capricorn, please use your best judgment, okay? Um, that's very important. It's very, very important to slow your mind down, okay? Very important, I just want to say again, and to allow yourself to have some peace, to have some fun, because when you don't do that, your judgment can really be skewed, okay? And you can even have slower reflexes, all right, let's go ahead and get some more cards here. So we got thought. Slow your mind down, Capricorn. Allow yourself to just take a moment and contemplate your mind, contemplate your thoughts, and enjoy yourself. That's very important. I also feel that someone is thinking about you very heavily right now. All right, we got thief in reverse. Spirit wants you to know that if you take a little bit of time and slow down and enjoy yourself, 
um, this opportunity, whatever it is that you're working towards, is not going to disappear. It's not going to be taken from you. It's not going to be stolen from you. So, okay, just allow yourself to have some fun here and there. I also got marriage here. So, yeah, this is like you have been devoting so much of your time to whatever this is. It's like you have become married to this and, you know, maybe even neglecting a lot of your other relationships. Okay, so again, this is all about finding balance for you, Capricorn. All right, so let's see what type of shadow work might be coming up for you in the month of April. Victim mentality, the universe wants you to know that the universe action and spirit wants what's best for you. The universe doesn't want what's worse for you. Okay, so I feel like you are just going at whatever this is. Like if you don't, you're going to lose it. Like someone's going to take it from you like a thief in the night. And spirit saying, no, the, the spirit wants you to have this. The universe wants you to have this because you've worked so hard for it. Okay, so it's okay to relax. This is yours. Okay, um, you deserve it. So just relax. All right. Oh, wow. We got two more shadow works. So, yeah, this is insecurity. Please understand your worth, your value, and your purpose here on this earth. That your purpose is not going to be stolen from you. It's not going to be taken from you. That is absolutely impossible. And anybody that's told you that that is possible is lying to you. They're wrong, okay? Um, there's no need to feel small, compare yourself to others, or to feel like someone is going to take this opportunity out of, or your destiny out of your hands, okay? So get rid of that insecurity there. And Spirit wants to remind you that you might be um, losing yourself to a little bit of self-absorption absorption with whatever this is. You're getting so caught up in it that you might be blocking out everything and everyone else around you. So openly seek to feel what others are feeling this month and express your love and express your empathy to others. Uh, take some time out, some extra time to make sure that you are doing this this month, okay? All right, so let's get another message here. Safety. Okay, Capricorn. So others cannot provide you, um, always provide this for you. Provide yourself with emotional and physical safety so that you can be, um, provide that safety for others. Okay, so Spirit is saying there's someone around you, and this is specifically true for those of you who do have children, specifically a daughter, I'm feeling like really wants to speak to you about something they see as important. Um, so this is providing an open and, and safe space emotionally um, and, ex and expressing yourself with love and empathy, okay, to let your child know that it's okay to talk to you, that you're not too busy to have this conversation, you're not too self-absorbed to have the conversation, okay, um, so taking that extra time. You know, sometimes when we're really busy with something, we don't realize when someone is trying to get our attention or needs attention. All right. So, yeah, it's being clarified. Capricorn, just enjoy the connections with people who love and cherish and really value you. All right. They're really going to be trying to get your attention this month. So notice that. All right. And let's go ahead and get one last message from Spirit. Look into moon energy for your highest desires. All right, so Spirit is saying, you know what, Capricorn? Instead of constantly like working yourself and your um, energy and your confidence, all of that down to the bone, how about look into manifesting with moon energy? How about looking into moon cycles and working accordingly to that? You never know how that might work for you, okay? 
So that's the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. Thank you so much for joining me. If the reading resonated with you, leave me a comment down below. If you enjoyed the reading, like the video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.